Hi, I'm Zahid. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Matkules. In this video, we are going to learn about number one, distance, and number two, displacement. Distance. When talking about distance, first thing that needs to be remembered is that whether we are talking about distance between two points or distance traveled by any object, there is a difference between the both terms. So we need to know about two types of distances. Number one, distance between two points. And number two, distance traveled by an object. Distance between two points. The distance between two points is the total length of the path that joins those two points. This path could be a curve, a zigzag, or a straight line. If it is a straight line, then it is the minimum distance between those two points. Distance traveled by an object. The distance traveled by an object is the length of path that the object covers during its travel. Suppose a person starts traveling from a city A to another city B and it stops in the midway, then its distance traveled is less than the distance between the cities A and B. However, if he reaches the city B, then his distance traveled is equal to the distance between the cities A and B. And if he returns back to A also, then his distance traveled is double than the distance between the two cities A and B. Explanation Distance between Islamabad and Lahore is 374 kilometers via motorway. It's not the minimum distance between the two cities as the motorway is not on a straight line. Now if a person moves from Islamabad to Lahore, his distance traveled is 374 kilometers. But if he returns back also, then his distance traveled is doubled. However, the distance between the two cities is still the same that is 374 kilometers. Nature and Symbolic Representation Distance is a scalar quantity. It means we can describe the distance without direction. Symbolically, it is represented by symbol S. For example, the equation S equals 374 km states that the distance is 374 kilometers. Displacement Usually, displacement is defined as the shortest distance between two points. However, in my opinion, it is not the true definition. Have a look at this figure. In this figure, the length of line AB is 6 cm, which is the shortest distance between the points A and B. But it is not the displacement. But why? The reason is, we haven't displaced anything. For displacement, something or somebody must be displaced from a position to another position. 
Displacement is the measure of how much a body is displaced from an initial position to a final position. Or it is the measure of change in position of an object. Have a look at this transition. Here is an object that moves from point O to point A, then from point A to point B, and then from point B to point C. The distance traveled by the object is equal to the length of the path O, A, B, C. The object was initially displaced from point O to point A, then from point A to point B, and then from point B to point C. The net displacement of the object is from the point O to the point C. The magnitude of the displacement is equal to length of line OC. The direction of the displacement is from the point O towards the point C. So, displacement is a vector quantity. Its magnitude is equal to the minimum distance between those two positions. It is the length of straight line joining the two positions. The displacement is always directed from initial position towards the final position. Explanation If the initial position of a body is xi, and final position is xf, then change in position will be equal to xf minus xi, that is final position difference initial position. Being a vector quantity, we cannot revert the order of difference, and it has direction from the initial position towards the final position nature and symbolic representation. Displacement is a vector quantity. The shortest or minimum distance traveled between an initial position and a final position gives its magnitude and it is directed from the initial position towards the final position. Symbolically, displacement is represented by symbol delta x or d. So, delta x equals xf difference xi. More explanation. If we somehow draw a straight line that joins Islamabad to Lahore, then the length of this line will give the magnitude of the displacement of a person who has traveled from Islamabad to Lahore. Obviously, it will be less than 374 kilometers, which is the distance between the two cities. And direction of the displacement will be from Islamabad to Lahore. As displacement is a difference between values of an initial and a final position, so it can have a negative value as well. To understand the concept better, let's take the help of the number line. Suppose a person is initially at position 1. Now, if he moves and reaches a new position 4, then the difference between the final and the initial position is 3, which is positive. Hence, the displacement of the person is positive in this case. But if the person moves backwards from the initial position 1 and reaches negative 2, then the difference between the final and the initial position will be negative 2 minus 1 that is equal to negative 3. In this case, the displacement is negative. 
in both the cases the magnitude of the displacement is same but direction is different zero displacement if a person travels from a place to another place and then comes back to the first place he travels some distance but his displacement is zero or null vector in this case the magnitude of the displacement is equal to zero units and its direction is arbitrary quick summary distance between two points is the length of the path that joins those two points the distance traveled by an object is the length of path that the object covers during its travel displacement is the measure of how much an object is displaced from an initial position to a final position and it is the change in position of that body distance is a scalar and displacement is a vector quantity and this is the end of this video thanks for being with me stay happy goodbye